Good morning. Hello. 9.45. This is about the time that I do my podcast. I get up early and I work on my poems. It's very gratifying. And lately I've been writing some, some interesting ones. Um, I have two of them today for you. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, let me think about it for a moment. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing fine. Where I'm at, it's sunny as heck after like a week of overcast. For some reason, the sun, the light makes you uh, a little more cheery than usual. Okay, uh, let me jump into this poem. It's called uh, A Mystery Woman. A mystery woman came into my dark dreams last night as I was deep, deep sleep. I have no clue who she was or where she had been. Once again, who could this woman be? There were so many shadows for me to see, like a fog that I could not peer into, like a film, and there was no way for me to see. There was so much happening in this dream. There was a motorcycle there that I tried to ride. Perhaps it was some kind of meaning of what I should try. It must be a riddle or ride of my life. But in the dream, I surely could ride a motorcycle, and on it I was eating a cherry popsicle. But I never really got around to doing much of that. There was a big celebration with lots of people dancing. But I can't dance so well anymore since I'm now a bit old. All of a sudden I was frightened. It was around World War II and the bombs are dropping even on my shoes. Who can know the mysteries of a dream? It must be visions of the foreseen or the machinations of my desires. I'm going back to sleep since I'm still a bit tired. Mystery woman, do not come back to me. I have had enough of you for one night. Last time you were here, I almost had a heart attack, and you left me with a bit of dread, like a child a bit scared. Thank you for that. 